Hello and welcome everyone. So here with a new video tutorial. In this video, we are going to be working on NetApp non-disrupted upgrades. Let's get straight to it. So as you can see here, I already have uh, the RTP and session open. Uh, the full name of this lab is Upgrading on Tap is Easy with Non-Disruptive Upgrades. So let's open a Mozilla Firefox web browser and log into the system manager with admin credentials. And NetApp Okay, here in the System Manager uh, dashboard, here we can see the current uh, release number 9.7.0. Same information can be found here under Help, then About, and here is the same version information. Uh, let's close this About window and select this particular link. Uh, let's click on tell me more about preparing for a non tap cluster update. And here you're going to find uh, some useful information and overall information holistically about uh, NetApp uh, upgrade process. Um, the key point of this explanation is the, kind, the, the different kinds of updates. We have rolling updates and batch updates. Uh, rolling update is when one of the nodes is taken offline while the active node is receiving all the data traffic. And this is for performing a non-disrupted upgrade. And, but this particular uh, rolling update um, is recommended for, for a cluster that may consist of two or more nodes, but less than eight nodes. Talking about batch update, uh, the cluster is separated into two batches, each of which contains multiple HA pairs. And then this uh, update process is recommended for clusters with eight or more nodes. Uh, in our exercise, we will be working on rolling update as the laboratory only contains a couple of nodes in HA configuration. Let's close this window and this exercise, in this exercise we are going to upload the software image to be ready for the upgrade. Uh, so here we can see a message that we can download uh, the software image from NetApp support site, but for this uh, lab we are going to add it from a server and we are going to provide next uh, link http colon slash slash and we are going to be uh, uploading uh, the new image from webserver.demo.netapp.com on tap and this is a new version 9.9.1 let's click on it this process may take around five minutes so let's let's pause the recording Okay, so image has been uh, uploaded correctly. Uh, let's click on next. Here we can see a current cluster version 9.7 and the version to be updated is going to be 9.9.1. Let's click on validate. Here in my, in my notebook, I have some of the typical warnings after validation. Uh, one is at the SIFs. We have to make sure that there are not active unprotected SIFs session. Second one is about NFS. Make sure that NFS service is not going to be interrupted. SAN, uh, verification that SAN components version are compatible with the new uh, image and manual checks. 
manual checks is to make sure that the storage admin is checking the release notes and the interoperability interoperability matrix tool. Okay, so here they are, and here you can see the same. Pre-update checked, SIFS status, manual checks for um, checking the interoperability. And this is about, this advice is true, refer for the, for the manual checks and, and the guide. NFS mount and compatibility. Okay, so at this point, I am going to minimize this web browser. We are going to need it later. Next exercise is load generation. Uh, lab comes with a iometer, which is a tool for generating load into disks. We are going to perform these load generations to demonstrate that uh, the upgrades are non disrupted for the data traffic. So let's open the Windows Explorer, then let's go to C, then load, then load generators. Here we can see the tool IOMeter. Okay, uh, let's expand the jump host, then worker one, and from here we are going to select the sand loon, E column winland. On worker two, we are going to select uh, the NAS volume, NS root. Okay. Then let's go to access specifications. And we are going to select uh, the 4KB Harvard Basset Read 100% random. Yep, this particular one. Let's click on it. Now let's go to results display. Update frequency, it's going to be one. And here we can start those load generation tests. Uh, before I go there, let me show you that the jump host from my PC, it has uh, these two volumes, uh, win LUN and uh, NAS volume call NS root. Okay, so uh, before I start uh, the load generations, I am going to open a new a new window in Mozilla Firefox for a new NetApp session with admin credential. I am going to move this window on the right side. Okay, well, let me minimize this guy. And let's click on start test. Okay, let's take a look there. Okay, so I'm missing the same uh, on worker one. I'm missing uh, the load. Okay, I missed this step. Okay, both are the same now. Now let's click on start test. Let's save the results in the default uh, directory and let's click on save. 
So now we are going to see uh, the performance is going as expected. As soon as I click on start test, we can see the throughput and the IOPS uh, increased because of the simulation operation of the load generation. If I click on a stop, uh, this lifetime performance graph is going to go to zero. Let's click on a stop. And now you can see uh, the graphs are going to the bottom. So let's run it again. And here they come. Okay, so next exercise, the rate itself. So I am going to display uh, the previous uh, session from NetApp and I am going to click on next. Okay, here we have some options prior to it. Let's click on advanced options. And here we have the stabilization time. Uh, stabilization time specifies the time period for which the update process should wait after completing a task to allow client applications to recover. So the recommended stabilization time uh, in this laboratory is just one minute. Okay, now we are ready for the, for the upgrade. Let's click on update. There is a warning in here. There are some nodes that own a cluster management leaf. During the update, leaves will be migrated and might be inaccessible. So let's just click on OK to proceed with the update. So we will have some momentary disconnection for that leaf migration, but it's going to be non-disruptive. So validation is now in progress. Okay, some last warning are appearing in this window for manual checks, NFS mounts, and SAN compatibility. So let's check the continue update with warnings and let's continue. Now we see a message for starting the update. Now the window shows the message update in progress. So I am going to minimize this window and here we can still see uh, the for performance. I absent throughput is still behaving as expected. No outages there. Okay, status is now, sorry, update is Update status is now in progress. So estimated time left will be one hour, 12 minutes, 25 seconds. So let's wait a second. Okay, uh, per lab guide, the update should have taken around 30 to 45 minutes because we uh, decreased the stabilization time from eight minutes to one minute. Here we can see the message related to the upgrade on the node one uh, and the node two. Uh, basically, they are the same. Although download an image, completed image update complete, and then do a takeover. Finally, do a give back. So it's a seal is retrieving update information. So somehow it got stuck under the status. If I refresh um, the web page for, for the system manager, here we can see the new interface. Let's log in. And here we can see new version 9.9.1. 
Uh, let's click on stash overview. And um, this is a new interface for the system manager. Now let's go to clusters. Cluster, then overview. Here we can see the new version uh, uploaded successfully, 9.9.1. .9 and let's click on more on tab update. Here uh, we can see that the approximate time elapsed was 13 minutes for node 1, uh, same minutes for node 2. Uh, the post update checks were completed. Uh, we have here a green mark. If we click on view update history, here we can see that a uh, previous version was 9.74 both nodes. Okay, so next exercise, post checks. So let's log in into the cluster by party session through SSH. Here is our cluster grant information. Click on load, then click on open. Login as admin NetApp web. Okay, so here we are. And I have prepared uh, the set of comments for the post checks. Just a second. First, we are going to verify the health of the cluster with cluster show. Yep, both, uh, both status for health are true, which is good. Then we are going to check for broken storage disk. No entries, no entries match in this query. We are going to verify that all disks are online status. Status disk show dash state. No entries match in that query. Let's validate that there are no offline aggregates with storage aggregate show. No entries matching that query. Let's validate that there are no offline volumes. No entries again. Let's validate uh, there are no inconsistent volumes. Looks good. Now, let's see both nodes have the same date and time. Lost our date show. Yep, they are the same. Let's verify uh, the version running on each node. Cluster image show. Yep, looking good. 9.9.1. Let's verify that previous version is in the repository. We are going to do that with advanced mode set dash prep advance. Click on Y for yes. Note image show again. Okay, here we can see that uh, the image for node one and two. The image true is 9.9.1, .9 which is the expected one. And here we can see the false one or the deactivated one is the previous 9.7.0. So if a downgrade may 
is could be required. Here is the from the lab guide. Here are the next commands to execute for running a downgrade. We are going to uh, run these commands for system node image update. Then we will have to uh, provide the package. Then we have to click on node image modify. And then the last command is system node revert to and the version for the downgrade. This is it. Thank you.